One of the reasons that computers slow down over time is too many extraneous files. Old files like temporary and other files that are no longer needed or used tend to cause PCs to slow down. A drive cleaner is needed to get rid of these files and free some space making your computer run like new again. One of the best drive cleaners out there is the free version of Crap Cleaner, or CCleaner for short. This is how to get, install, and use CCleaner. Hi, Dennis Ray here. Of course, before cleaning your computer, you need to download and install CCleaner. This is where to find the program. I'll put links in the description below. This is the site, or the CCleaner site, ccleaner.com. This is where you can download the free version. And there is a pro version too. And you can see the price is $9.15 for one year. It's not too bad. But if you scroll down, you can see a chart that shows you the difference between the free version and the pro version. Then there's a uh, Pro Bundle version 2 and they have the prices on the bottom. You can hit this bar to download the free version. Another source for a sea cleaner is MajorGeeks.com and this is Sea Cleaner Standard, the free edition. Some information about sea cleaner, the features that are included with it. There's a video that compares different drive cleaners. A tutorial that'll tell you how to use it. And some screenshots. You just hit this to download it. Or another source for a sea cleaner is majorgeeks.com. Sea Cleaner Slim. Now Sea Cleaner Slim and Sea Cleaner Standard are basically the same. The only difference is CCleaner Standard comes with uh, adware that during the install process it may ask you to install the adware, but you can opt out of that. And CCleaner Slim comes without this adware. So that's rather nice. Oh, well, I didn't mention that there is a portable version of CCleaner also. And, uh, this is a version that you do not need to install. I put a link for the download site in the description below. So now let's look at how to install CCleaner. You have the file, double click it. <clears throat> do you want to allow this app to make changes to your device? Yes. And we want to install it. Optional offer from the makers of CCleaner AVG antivirus free. No, we don't want that, so decline. And it's installed. Run. And of course, it's going to take you to the site to try to get you to be interested in upgrading to CCleaner Professional. But we don't need that, so close that. And there we are. There is CCleaner free, ready to start working. With CCleaner, let's look at the options first because we don't want any surprises when we actually use the cleaner. So this is a good first step now looking at settings, we got run CCleaner when computer starts. No, nah, we don't want that. And then, uh, okay, the rest of those are good. That's good. That's good. Great. Cookies. And in this area, we can put any cookies that we want to exclude from the cleaning. You can, there are all the cookies that are on the browsers and they can be moved to the exclude list which is on the right side. 
include select files that you want to uh, have cleaned exclude put in files folders that you want to exclude from the cleaning scheduling well this is only good in the pro edition smart cleaning uh, you can check this if you want to but if you do it will run uh, or CCleaner will run when the system is booted up and continue to uh, run and it will tell you when there are files that need to be cleaned and you may not really need this if you just go ahead and clean every couple weeks or so so I don't enable this users current user only that's good updates apply updates automatically I really don't want that show me notifications for these updates no I don't want that either advanced uh, you can look at those see if there's any of those that you want to be checked for yourself privacy help improve the app by well no we don't want this offers no no and about okay and we can look at the other things there's the health check this uh, is just a way for CCleaner to sell you more of their software so you really don't need to use this at all we want to use this for the main purpose of the of the program and that is custom clean and this is how you do it go to custom clean oh and before I show you this uh, there are these settings you want to take a look at for Windows um, Microsoft Edge I uncheck cookies same way with well Edge is partly Chrome browser so I uncheck those and for Internet Explorer because I don't want to lose the uh, passwords and usernames for different sites that I go into where you need those so that's why I uncheck those and under applications there is Firefox same thing uncheck, cook, uncheck cookies okay we're ready to do a cleaning run cleaner the selected files will be deleted from your PC do you wish to continue yes and this should not take long just a few seconds and it's done and it tells you how many files and the size of the files that it cleaned out of the system very good then there's also the red street cleaner now this um, a lot of experts advise not to clean your red street because if the wrong item is cleaned out it could really mess up your uh, Windows system however CCleaner is very conservative in its file cleaning and registry cleaning so normally this will not cause any problems by running this in CCleaner and I've done it in the past for many years and it's never really failed me it's uh, not done anything bad to Windows but I don't do this very often at all if ever really anymore but the way it works is you select registry cleaner scan for issues and this just takes a few seconds and it found quite a few so fix selected issues and it does make a backup of the registry that it uh, cleaned out for you so if anything does go wrong you can bring it back so save in documents 
fix all selected issues. Okay, and that is cleaned out. Then there are tools, and in it there is uninstaller, and uh, I don't use this because there are better uninstaller third party programs that will do a better job. So I don't use that at all. Software updater, same thing. Uh, there are better third party programs that will do a better job. Startup. This is uh, interesting because it will show you what starts up with your, com with your computer when you boot it up and what runs in the background. Uh, you can see that it's, whether it's enabled or not. No, no, yes. You can, uh, if you want to change it so it doesn't run, you can select it, disable or enable, or delete. And uh, I would not advise deleting because if you decide you want it to run again, you can uh, just leave it without deleting it and just either enable it or disable it. <clears throat> Browser plugins, this is good for your information to see what plugins your browser has and whether they're enabled to run. Disk analyzer, you can use this if you want to. Duplicate finder, if you suspect you have duplicate files, you can use this to find them. System restore. This shows you what restore files are uh, are in Windows. Drive wiper. I would not even touch this. Uh, using this, it will wipe your drive of Windows and all the files on it. So I would advise not even to use this at all in any situation. And then, uh, I forgot one thing, in Options, Settings, if you want your CCleaner to start with Custom Clean selected, rather than Health Check, you can change that to Custom Clean, so when it starts, Custom Clean will be selected and you're ready to start cleaning. Okay, that is CCleaner free in a nutshell. I mentioned third-party programs for uninstalling and keeping programs up to date. I did a couple videos about Geek Uninstaller and SUML Program Updater. There are links for them in the description below. Also, I mentioned that cleaning the registry is not necessarily because it really doesn't improve computer performance. CCleaner is an excellent program for conservative and safe drive cleaning, which definitely improves computer performance. After cleaning your drive, it's a good idea to defrag your hard drive. I did a video about a great defrag program called Smart Defrag. There's a link for that in the description below too. Periodically cleaning your drive and defragging are the best ways of making your PC faster. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and comment below. Subscribe, then hit the bell to be notified of new videos. If you click on my name below, you'll see what other videos I've done and may be of interest to you. See you.